everybody it is friday i think the 8th of february i'm not 100% sure on that. It's definitely Friday. I have just arrived in Southampton. I am parked right next to the city walls right now, just, you know, as proof that I'm actually here. <laughs> when I last spoke to you, I think I was on the way to Juliet, so I haven't actually spoken to the camera or my phone since then. But now I'm here in Southampton visiting Jacob. So I had a lovely time at Juliet's. You probably already saw all the like little montage stuff. We went to Nor Norfolk, yeah, obviously. Went to Norwich shopping. I bought this coat. Um, we went to Sandringham, you know, where the Queen lives, just for a walk. And then we also went to Norfolk Lavender, which is a little lavender shop. Uh, I bought my mum some lavender mustard. Then I came home and me and Jake went to see Busted in Kingston. I got a little tiny bit of footage, so I'll put that in here. It's not particularly like, you know, artsy or anything. It's literally just me filming with my phone. So have a little look at that. <laughs> There you go. So that was a really good night. I had a good time. They played a very strange set list as well, actually. Like a lot of like things that are buried deep down in their first two albums they played, um, which I've never seen them play live before. You know, I've seen them quite a lot of times. I'm not, I am. Am I ashamed to admit that? No, no, I'm not. And we were a little bit upset because Charlie did not scream once. He's in Busted now and I'm okay with that. But like sometimes he screams Especially if they play 3 a.m. There's a nice scream, me and Jacob. We enjoy that. It's like, oh yeah, we came to see Fight Star after all. But no, they didn't play 3 a.m. So we didn't get the scream from that. Their new song, 90s, has a scream in it, which is obviously very exciting to us. But they didn't play 90s. And there's another song on the album. I think it's Nostalgia, where there's also one scream at the end of the song. And they didn't play that either. So... Did you have that? Oh, oh, careful. <laughs> I was just talking Direction about... Direction Sweets. Oh, thank you. I was just talking about Charlie screaming and how he didn't scream yesterday. Yes, very disappointed. Oh, hey, I didn't know you were screaming yeah, nice in the video. Little, you can do. Mm. Anyway, we're in South the video. <laughs> <coughs> We are in Southampton now. Um, just thought I'd update you because I was sitting in the car. Bye. Friday now. So originally I was supposed to be leaving Southampton on Wednesday and going to visit Sophie in Bath, but I got a really bad cold and I just really did not feel like driving and being sociable. So 
I've postponed my visit to Sophie. I've just been staying here in Southampton um, until now, Friday. And now today I'm off to see Rebecca in Exeter. So originally I was gonna do two locations per vlog and have three vlogs. So you will have already seen at this point, Royal Holloway and York. And then this vlog was intending to be uh, Norfolk and Southampton. And then finally I was gonna have Bath and Exeter, but I think Exeter is just gonna be in this vlog because I don't see myself filming loads enough to make a whole video just of what I've been doing in Exeter for one day. So I'm gonna tag it onto this vlog. Uh, and then that will be the end of this little mini road trip thing, which I've been really enjoying. But I think at this point I, I would like to go home and see my cat and my dog. I'm a complete homebody and I love traveling and I really have enjoyed road tripping and just driving around and just being by myself and having time to think. But I think I've learned on this trip that being able to have a base and be able to go home when I want to go home, I think that's my preferred method of traveling. So that is interesting because I'm kind of planning some kind of gap year trip right now. So. I'm gonna bear that in mind. Maybe a whole year abroad might not be the best plan, but maybe it will. Maybe it just takes some time to get used to. Anyway, there are people coming. Sunday, Rebecca has gone to church, which means I am free for the morning to do whatever I want. Not that I wouldn't be if she was here, but I'm going to go into the city and explore, find a couple of places that I found on Atlas Obscura, which is like my new favourite website. So I'm just packing my stuff and then I will get going. As you can probably hear, I've still got a bit of a cold, so apologies for like any heavy breathing. Just quickly, I just wanted to show you this cool poster. So Rebecca's doing a Masters in Human Osteology, I think, which is like bones and teeth and skeletons and archaeology and I just find it really fascinating and I think this poster is very very cool. Mm -hmm. 